everybody. Thanks very much for joining me. I'm Dean the Vaping Biker and tonight I am going to do a very quick vlog. Um, I didn't really want to do a vlog so soon after the last one. I try and put sort of a few other reviews in, in between them. But, um, and I'm not going to go on about it. I go on about sort of being poorly quite a lot. But I've had, I've had some more issues recently. But, so that's what sort of stopped me. And I'm also fuck tired. <laughs> but there you go. Anyway, um... Yeah, so I'm really sorry I haven't been keeping up with the uh, the product reviews. I've not hit what I kind of sort of set myself as a target so far, and it's really quite frustrating for me. But I promise you, I am very focused on getting back as quick as I can, back up to full speed, so I can uh, get back at showing you random vapey stuff. Now then, what is there to tell you about? What I'm going to do is we are going to go and have a quick run through what was going on at uh, at Vape Fest in Ireland, in Dublin. And uh, just so you can have a little look. See, I thought I was going to do something a little bit different than I normally do. Uh, but, you know, a lot of the other guys do it. But um, I got this this little tiny camera when I was on honeymoon last year. And uh, and it's this little Denver. It's kind of like a GoPro clony thing with a very loose back. Um and I thought this would be perfect because I can monitor it on the phone so I can have this up. And I thought, way selfie stick. That is the future. And so I can wee, wander around and where you go. Now then, the slight problem there is you may see on the top of that, that that doesn't fit. Doesn't fit. Doesn't fit. So with the help of many elastic bands um, and looking ropey as fuck, that managed to go on there and I took a bit of a video. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you that first. Um, we'll have a little brief chat about that and then just uh, just some more random stuff and some, some, some different products that have come in. So we'll have a quick run through. I'll try and speed up a bit so it's not too dull. Just a couple of minutes to give you a flavour of what Vapefest Island was all about. Excuse me, or at least kind of fairly early doors before. Oh, got windy pops. Too many people came in. So I hope you find that in some way kind of interesting. I'll try and find some funky music, either funky or very childish music to go over the top of it anyway. So let's have a little look at that and then we'll come back and have a chat, shall we? Super. Then, so that was a quick look around the uh, around the floor for the uh, Vape Fest uh, Island, and it was it was an interesting thing. It was an interesting thing. Now, what should I tell you about it? I'm going to try and keep this as quick as I can today as well. Um, right, main thing for me that made me super happy was meeting Mister, the one and only Mark Todd, the man in the shed from Todd's Reviews. It, it, He's just a diamond of the man. He really is lovely. He's a really sweet guy. I mean, I speak to him a bit anyway, but um, it was just lovely to meet him in person and uh, and have a good old sort of chin wag. And uh, yeah, just a super sweet guy. Everything that uh, sort of he comes across as on camera, he is absolutely the same um, in person. Uh, yeah, really, really cool guy. So that was something that really kind of, it really made me happy from, from the outset to uh, to hang with Mr. Todd. Uh, what else was cool? Met Grim Green. He's very cool. Um, and just so, so, so popular. It's ridiculous. I mean, Mark was getting a lot of people who wanted uh, sort of selfies with him and all that sort of stuff, obviously. But uh, but Nick wasn't, I don't don't think he was able to actually walk kind of, kind of two metres at a time before he had a bunch of people try and, uh, try and take pictures with him and everything else. Me included. 
<laughs> but uh, but yeah, he was he was he was a, a very cool guy for that as well. So that was that was awesome. Um, right now, the venue, the venue, as you see, you probably saw from the from the video, it had really low ceiling super low ceiling which was kind of it was weird but it also meant that everything got super vapey really quickly um unless you were kind of near the back doors or one of the two kind of entrance hall doors entrance doors to the hall um it, you, it was it was it got pretty vapey and and it was hot oh it got warm it got warm i mean i'm a fat lad but it, it you know um it was uh, yeah. They they didn't they didn't turn the aircon on. Now I've heard a couple of reasons as to why that may have been. Um, one is is kind of less popular than the other. So I'm not going to cast aspersions as to what the reasons that uh, that that may have happened. There may may have been an entirely reasonable idea. Um, but it was it, that that kind of sucked. Having a small kind of low ceiling room or a couple of rooms or whatever it was it was a big expanse um but with no fresh or well not fresh air conditioned air no kind of cooling nothing like that it was it, it was warm um the other gripe that i had was that the the the, the, the bar was kind of at the upstairs kind of main foyer level to the uh, to the, the the place the 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 stadium that it was at and that meant that bearing in mind that didn't open until kind of like 12 half 12 um it was fucking hot and there was there was nowhere to get any drinks there was kind of like a coffee bar thing downstairs that for some reason they decided not to open um and yeah so you had to go upstairs but you know until it was kind of like 12 half 12 or so then you couldn't get a drink anyway which was which was very sucky so yeah we managed to find a, a water fountain near the toilets uh which was which was super um but but yeah otherwise well there's a message um but otherwise it was yeah that that was just i think that was poorly executed that that part because it was hot i know then some of the vendors were hot um as well as you know a bunch of people wandering around were, were were very warm as well um anyway moving on from that there was a good show of uh, there was a good show of vendors. There was a good show, a good sort of amount of them, good variation. There was some really cool stuff there. Uh, the Hellfire stand had a couple of fantastic looking mods there. Um, Elemental mods uh, were there. They were they they were. I missed them on the day, to be honest with you. I didn't actually get to spend any time with them and see them on the day. Um, but I've seen a bunch of their stuff afterwards, and I'm really pissed about it because they they look lovely. If you haven't if you haven't seen them, go and check out Elemental Mods on Facebook. Uh, but yeah, so they're fantastic. What else was there? What else was there? Of example, fuck ton of juice as always, as always, bucket load of juice. Um, let me have a little drink here. There was, now then, really, I should have been organised and got all the cards here. I've put them somewhere safe. It'll come up when I uh, when I do the uh, when I do the uh, reviews of bits and bobs. I'm I'm sure there was one company that was selling um, what the fuck were they called? I think they were they were mech mods and they I think they were called banded, banded. Yeah, they were they were kind of solid. Uh, brass copper and what have you mods and then they had they were they were machined out so they had o-rings like four o-rings through them for, for for gripping um they were really nice they were I, I tried one out on the on the velo on my velocity and it was pretty hard hitting i'd like to get one and spend some more time with it unfortunately i didn't have the cash to uh, to be able to pick one up on the day but uh, but yeah they look pretty interesting so i'm looking forward to finding out a little bit more of those um and interestingly they weren't hybrids which which was a surprise because um, obviously most of the kind of in inverted commas hard hitting mods these days are all are all hybrids, which can cause a problem from a safety perspective when it comes to people with tanks and and you know five tens that aren't quite long enough or can move. So yeah, hopefully I'll uh, I'll get more information on those for you and, and let you know about that in time. Now what else? What else? What else? Uh, like I say, a fuck ton of juice. Ah, these guys. Um, these guys from Wick Liquor. Um, they were coming. They've got three juices in their line, and they were pretty, pretty bloody, pretty bloody marvelous. My favourite juice of the show. Uh, not that I tried all of them, of course. Excuse me. 
but uh, but yeah, so what we've got here is Deja Voodoo, which is, well, I'll go into them at another time, but this one's got a bit of a coconut flavour going on. You've got uh, the Boulevard, which has kind of got a black currenty kind of almost florally thing going on, I don't know. Um, and then there's Carnival that I haven't actually tried yet. But yeah, the, 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 the two that I have tried, I, I really enjoy. I've really had a nice time with those. So um, that was super. What else, what else, what else? Right, I will be doing a review on the Alliance V2 RDA, which I put onto, just quickly threw it onto, uh, onto this little puppy. Um, this is a quality RDA, by the way, ladies and gentlemen, a quality RDA. I am I am looking for the box, that's what I'm looking for. Um, once again, disorganisation rules, eh? Seriously, what have I done with it? Um, I've put it somewhere safe, you know. Ah, there it is, there it is, found it, calm down, relax. Alliance V2. Now, when I was, uh, when I was over there, I, uh, I I changed out a couple of things and I spilt some juice on the inside, which looks which looks not too clever. But we'll give you a little idea about something. Obviously, this is going to be coming up for review. But you have the RDA itself. Um, it comes with a big old chunky um, Delrin heat sink as well, which obviously increases the height of everything, um, and that kind of works out pretty damn sweet. Uh, but what really got me on these was the amount of spares. You get um, two extra barrels. These two here are the top two extra barrels for uh, different types or different size airflows. Um, you've got this. This is here is an extension barrel, so it essentially cools the vape as it goes as it goes up the uh, up the what's the name. Um, you've got um, an AFC, so you can have single or dual coil. So the one that I've got in here at the moment is single. Uh, that one is for dual, and you get a fuck ton of spares. So there is a there is a bunch of stuff in there, which I will go into when I do the review. But uh, but no, I've been enjoying the shit out of this. It's not it's not absolutely perfect. In all honesty, it's not absolutely perfect. But I think it's retailing at around um, the kind of uh, 45, 50 quid range, um, which to me, and especially with the amount of spares, bearing in mind that it is a good idea, hoof and great post holes. Oof and great post holes, um, but uh, but yeah, with all of the uh, all of the extras, with what it can do thus far, um, I've been super impressed with it, and I'm I'm just in single mode on this one, single coil mode at sixty watts. Hang on, see I've got a monster buddy Clapton in here at the minute. And it performs well. Let's wag that up, shall we? Got a little bit of homebrew. I'm still working on my chocolate pear. <laughs> that sounds dodgy. Yeah, I really like the RDA. Let's say that's in single coil mode. And the Alliance V2, this, I think the Alliance uh, V1 and V2 are uh, designed by the same guy that originally designed the Mutation X. Um, which would account for the uh, sort of the nine hole airflow along that one. But you have got other options as well. And it's backward compatible with the original, which I think is pretty cool. So that's cool. And coming up for review. What else? What else? What else? Uh, I have got the two puffs. Two puffs. Can't get into it. Two puffs. RDA with a whole bunch of spare rings to make it colour code to whatever you fancy. Uh, this will be coming up for review. I've not actually put a build in this yet, uh, but I'm looking forward to trying that. The airflow, just having a quick suck on it, the airflow has been pretty sweet. So I'm looking forward to trying that out. So they're coming up on top of everything else. I've still got the uh, I've still got the Sarah um, RDA, which I've been, uh, been playing with again today. Um... And I've got all this stuff that I, that I said that I had on the last vlog that I can't remember. But yeah, I, I'm way by, getting way behind on my uh, on my uh, list now. So I am going to be picking it the fuck up. Uh, it's just I have had a bit of an issue with not being able to see, which has been slightly challenging. So, But we're getting through that. So yay, that's good. Oh, and for those that are interested, the dog, she's doing really fucking well now, by the way. She's doing really well. So um, she's uh, she's coming into her own again, which is brilliant. Now then, 
what else what's coming up what's coming up late roll up roll up ladies and gentlemen new stuff to see um today i got uh, and i've literally just stuck the tank on here just to have a little little toot and have a little see what it's like because you know what it's like when you get free stuff i know i've got the other stuff not free well it is free but you know when you get new stuff um you uh you you have to give it a little toot and just just see if it works and see if it's all see if you're all happy but i'm looking forward to uh to getting a review on this it's a strange little bugger this is the um the jack series b tilt which is a little 40 watt mod um and it's quite tasteful, but it has it has this slant thing on it, um, which is which is interesting. Uh, I get you sixty nine did a kind of a, a first look, if you like, or a look at the prototype for this, uh, and uh, I had a quick quick swizz on that, and um, allegedly the, the the slant is to kind of make it look a little bit shorter than it actually is, and various bits and bobs. But it's a single eighteen six fifty, and. You know, I've got my uh, the Monster V3 on there at the moment at little 30 watts. And I've got to tell you, that, that little tilt, it kind of, it's 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 kind of cool. It's weird, but it's, it, it looks weird, but it's kind of cool. It's, it's comfortable. It is comfortable. So there you go. The review will be coming up in that, but that could be a week or or, or maybe even two. Um, I want to make sure it gets a damn good working um, as well as as uh, obviously fitting in the queue at the same time as everything else. So yeah, that's going to be coming up. Um, I got something cool. Wapow! Squonkiness, a squonky, a squonker, squonker from Darwin. Darwin, Idiot Darwin Mods has sent me this to review, which I am super excited about. This is a little Yee powered 60 watt affair. Um, I've got the Vortis on the top of there at the moment, the Vortis V2. It's awesome. <laughs> yeah. yeah, this is going to get a full review. Um, I did get it. He did send it to me um, a couple of weeks ago. We did have a, just a very slight issue, which which he managed to rectify very quickly. So um, that's back now and, and everyone's happy. So I will be uh, reviewing this, but it's just, I mean, look, see if I can see. Oh. Got to get in there. There we go. How tidy. How tidy is that for a squonker though? Really, that's awesome, isn't it? That's just the tits. I just like it so much. Just finishing off the uh, abolishment from uh, from Plumes of Hazard Lion Juice. Um, did I mention this on the last vlog? I can't remember if I did or not. Um, I know I mentioned it on the Ideal Home Show, but uh, but yes. Managed to get from the plumes guys all of the uh, all of the plumes juice. Where is it? There we go. There we go. There we go. And I may give a little rundown on here as well at some point if I haven't done so already. Um, the uh, my two favourites were the way up here and abolishment, um, which is uh, uh, they're they're both fantastic. They're both they're both fantastic. Um, at the same time, Foo's Gold has been is is a new different one for me because. I've never vaped tobacco kind of base flavors. This is a tobacco base, um, and it's actually really, really nice. So that's been cool. And then we've got the masked tea as well, which is kind of a tea with, with a couple of other bits and bobs thrown in there, which I'll, I'll talk about at another time. Excuse me. This one is, is the, the not most acquired taste, but it's... I guess I, d I haven't taken to this one quite as much. It does remind me of a bunch of stuff. Um, when I first first vaped it, it reminded me of kind of like an Earl Grey that had had a had a, a fruity tea bag dipped in there as well, if that makes sense. Um, but I mean, it's not to say it's it's not nice. It, it, it is nice, but yeah. Where are we? Where are we? Abolishment and my up here are my personal favourites. Now then, what else? What else? What else? Obviously, I've still still cane in the uh, the the stash. Um, I've got very little Lushington left. Um, now, stash news. It is coming to the UK. 
So anyone in Europe who doesn't want to pay prices bringing it over from the States will be able to have access to it very soon. And when I say, I know I've said soon, like a while ago, but now it is super soon, like really, really soon, apparently. So that'll be cool. Um, but I will let you know more about that as soon as I, so don't, as soon as I know. So don't put comments down on who's getting it and where's it coming from and all that quite yet. Um, what, are, is there anything else? Is there anything else? Well, I'll tell you what I've been vaping on today. And uh, I... Uh, <laughs> if you've been a long-term watcher of my uh, of my, my channel, you'll have seen this before. But it's, uh, it's, it's a mod that I, that I made a long time ago. And I thought I'd just go a bit retro today. Because I haven't used it in fucking ages. Because it's not brilliant. It's not pretty, <laughs> um, but uh, but yeah. When I was learning to mod, I think what I tell you what I might do in the next few vlogs, because I've had a few people ask me about uh, about the mods that I've made. I might um, just have a, a, a you know vape on one of my one of my old homemade mods. Now I've done I've I've made a few now, and they are interesting levels of success <laughs> but it's all been a learning experience and now now if i make them then it is uh it, it, they do come out a lot cleaner so what i'm going to show you is all of my like beta models the ones that i kind of you know like like i don't know the first time i started welding bits on the bike fuck awful fuck awful and even now my welding's not brilliant but you know it's it's a progression but anyway there was this one i've stuck the monster on it again this is a um a soap dish. It came with. Where is it? Where is it? Here it is. Here it is. The wife found this in a in a. She walked past a charity shop and it was in the window. And what it was, or well, what it is, oh, it's all fallen out. Is basically it's like a a, a man's um, weekend kit, like a toiletry bag, but with stuff in it. And it had a whole bunch of these kind of. Um, I don't know what what they are they're, they're, they're chromed or some some stuff um things in it and this was the soap dish so i thought well that looked good i like that and i originally was going to make a squonker out of it but i didn't uh, i didn't have the bits and bobs so i thought Fuck it, i'll just make this and um i put a uh what chip is in or board is in there? i think it's from a smock m60 did they do a 60 yeah i think that's what it is so it's super simple um, and ever so slightly on the piss and because I didn't know how to mount the board properly I kind of stuck a couple of bits of plastic from a from an old battery box and uh, and um, on top of a credit card <laughs> there you go and that was that so yeah it's it's messy as fuck but what you can do you see see before before rail box and all that sort of stuff what you can do is you put your tank in there how do you like those apples I just like them apples, but there we go. So yeah, so I threw this together, and it was uh, like it's, it's it's not it's not perfect. But if any of you out there have made your own mod, then it's it's the tits. It's just there's there's something about something that you've made which just makes you feel really cool. Which is why um, I figure if I show you a couple of the crappy ones that I've done, then um, it might give you a sort of a, some kind of inspiration to go out and have a crack yourself. But now I've been vaping on this all day today. Uh, it's been it's been nice. I've been feeling all retro. <laughs> Still dubious airflow on this monster, but I still like using it. I don't know why. But uh, yeah, twenty eight watts. Get that up, yeah. Twenty eight watts, gentlemen vaping. Oh yes. Oh yes. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, and um, you know, I mean, the bits I think I got from Rick kind of back in the day um so you know go on to modmaker.co.uk and he does he does a cool kind of um not a kit as such uh but it, it, like a package where where you can kind of say you want that box and that battery thing and this that and the other and then you sort of throw it all together add the wires and stuff that you need and where you go um so yeah it's you know get inventive you can make a mod especially if you've got a board if you've got a regulated board out of some old thing that you've that, that that's kicking around somewhere i mean i've got an old 50 watt i stick here that i've got to separate because it had a, a knackered button on it 
Um, and I'll probably throw that in something just for shits and giggles at some point in time. But uh, but yeah, if you can if you can make something like that, a regulated board gives you a certain amount of safety as well. Um, but you know he he does. Uh, Rick's got a, a bunch of boards and what have you on uh, on Mod Maker as well. So that's worth checking out. No, is there anything else? No, just quickly. Well, so I've been vaping on. I've been having the uh, this big bad boy going again. Um, I had this this blasting the. Uh, I was on a I was on a pre-show hangout with the Ideal Home Show boys uh, last night. I think it was, and uh, was uh, was was getting this back in the rack. I fucking love this. I just daren't take it out of the house because Corrosive Creations that did the. Uh, that did the the finish on it. I've done a, such a lovely job. I would absolutely, seriously, I cry if uh, if if I managed to fuck that up in some way, shape, or form. And look at oh fuck me, don't hold that bit. Don't hold that bit. It says vaping biker over the top of the BCV logo. <sighs> Stacked twenty six fifties, twenty six six fifties. Oh yeah. For days, for days. But yes, but no, playing with that again last night made me realise that I haven't actually reviewed the NAMI RDA from Beer, from Bay City Vapor yet, which is a which is a bugger. So I've, I've, I'm really sorry, Mister uh, Mister Bay City Vapor, for not doing that because that should have happened by now, and I'm a wanker because I haven't done it. But no, I uh, I will be having a blast of this. If you've had a if you've got one of these, or if you've if you've uh, if you've seen it before, I've been trying, like I said, kind of months ago. I've, I've wanted to try a bunch of different builds on it to see what was going on, and uh, and this is the uh, this is the build that I've got in here at the minute, and it's it's kind of rocking it really. Um, it's a it's a flattened um, stapled like I like like I, I I put them in a whole bunch of things stapled. No, it's a flattened Clapton dual core. Um, and it's re it's really rocking with the with the the, the 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 top airflow that comes down, which I'll explain in the in the review. Um, it kind of it's actually been doing a really really good job. I've just squirted some red juice on my uh, on my nice and clean fucking grey jogging bombs. So yes, yeah, so that's coming up. I'm not going to forget it this time. I'm really not going to forget it. Now, I think that is it, ladies and gentlemen. I think it is it. What else is there? Is there anything else at all? No, the K bag worked well for me in Ireland. Um, for flying, by the way, I found the most effective. I know some people got stopped and searched and all that sort of stuff. All I did is I put all my vape gear in here. Um, had it all kind of open when you go through security so people can see what, what everything that's in there. And other than one uh, particularly annoying lady who decided to get my Evolver, my Darwin Mods Evolver, and uh, uh, just pick it up, have a look around it, and then kind of throw it back in the uh, in the in the case, making it crunch against atomizers and God knows what, uh, I didn't have any problems. So you know, be uh, don't just don't try and hide stuff because you can never get away from the fact that something like that. Does not look cool to the uneducated security person at a uh, at an airport. So, have it all open. Make sure that you have your batteries in your in your hand luggage. Um, that's just the uh, that's that's the way it has to be. So, that really is it. That really is it. There. Is, oh no, no, no. See, it's watching Mark Todd. That's what it is. He gets me all confused. I have got um, a bunch of juice to try, to try from Il Pluminati. I uh, I don't know anything about this juice or whatsoever. And as you lot know, I don't do juice reviews. But uh, unless something really kind of you know wets my whistle, um, but I will mention that those in the next vlog and uh, and let you know what I think about them. Now then, I think that really is it. Haircuts coming. Not this Saturday coming, but the Saturday after, so I can stop looking like this. Um, oh, have I said about the Titan? Did I say about the Titan? I've got a Titan. Eric sent me a Titan. I'm fucking happy about that. Now then, um, I can't remember. Oh, look at this. It looks like I've got a comb over when that long bit goes over there. Um, 
I can't remember if I said about it, so excuse me if I did. But we've got that one, and I'm feeling it flicking over again. Eric also sent me another one for for the charity raffle that's coming up, which is this. How gorgeous is that? Look, ooh, that's pretty, isn't it though? Isn't it? Titan all engraved in the uh, very tube five ten there. Um, super tidy inside. Yeah, very, very nice too. So thank you very much for that, Eric. Um, I have picked the charity. It's called Faith, which isn't in a religious thing. I may, I may say, um, it's a, it's an animal shelter. It's F A I T H, and I can't for the life of me remember what it stands for. But um, I've been looking into them a, re a bit recently, and for the work they do, there are no kill shelters. So you know, if a dog goes in there or a cat goes in there, and or you know, they do look after other animals as well. They don't. Uh, they don't dispose of them just because nobody wants them, which is which. I, I'm all for that. I like that. So yeah, that's all happening. But otherwise, I think that really is it, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks very much for staying with me. I think I, I know. I've said before that I've got the Cryos tank and the uh, Clydeport Mini to go through. Um, that's coming up soon. I've get, I'm getting a different deck sent to me for the Cryos as well. But so far, that's going really well for the price. Um, you can. It's a, it's a decent little tank. So I think they're selling them at Grey Haze at the moment in the UK. So they're worth checking out for sure. Uh, that's it, ladies and gentlemen. That really is it. I'm not gonna. Holy crap! Look at that. Look. Have I gone into? Oh, nearly half an hour just talking. I'm so sorry. Thanks very much for sticking with me, everybody. I am Dean the Vaping Biker, and make sure tomorrow night, Thursdays at 9 p.m., you check out the own pay. No, no. <laughs> the ideal ohm show which you can watch on the ohmpage.com forward slash live uh, and you can get involved with the with the chat there as well if you want so if you want to talk to other people uh watching or if you want to send any messages to us try not to be abusive because we're ever so emotional little creatures the other thing is you can check out us on the youtubes which is uh, all the YouTube stuff and just search The Ideal Ohm Show and uh, and you'll find us there as well. But thanks very much for watching. Make sure you check out my Instagram and Facebook. Links are around here somewhere. Um, I, I keep up with, I, you know, most days I stick photos and all that sort of shit up. So you can keep up with what I'm vaping. And, you know, through my Vaping Biker page, uh, feel free to send me any questions or leave any comments you like under here and check out all the other videos as per usual. I do get a lot of people sending me friend requests to my private Facebook account, which generally I don't have a lot of um, issue or I didn't have a lot of an issue with. Uh, but... <sighs> It, a couple of people kind of spoil the parade a little bit. So um, I may not be accepting kind of everybody on my personal page. So, you know, go through. go the, the, you'll, you'll find the Vaping Biker page there. You can't miss my yellow logo. Um, and uh, and that's probably the best way because I think I might, I might be tidying up the, the, the personal one quite a lot in the near future and keeping it personal because, you know, you don't necessarily need to see pictures of... Uh, of you know my dog because I think she looks cute, tight, like all tucked up in a little ball or something, or uh, or me sitting there in a t-shirt with my belly hanging out. You you don't need to see that. So yeah, that's what it is. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. We'll see you soon. Hopefully, we'll see you tomorrow night on the Ideal Home Show. And uh, yes, I will be pulling my shit together. Thanks very much for your patience, everyone. Have it large.